progress. We love to see progress. So for those of you who watched our last video, you saw the greenhouses were being delivered. Uh, these are greenhouses that we order from Canada. They're the Declute type of greenhouses and they are they're gutter connect, meaning that each greenhouse connects at the top with a gutter. And the guys have really been busy. This weekend, they got the ground stakes in. So we'll show you a little bit of video of them getting the ground stakes all in place. The beautiful thing with letting them put the ground stakes in and actually building the whole greenhouse is number one, we don't have to do it. Uh, but number two, in years past, we did all of the building of the greenhouses ourselves, uh, which we are able to do, or at that time we were able to do. Um, now we're just too busy to do it ourselves. But also one thing we've learned over the years is that when there is somebody who is the pro at doing something, you let the pros do it. Um, setting ground stakes is one of those things. There's a lot of mathematical calculations, um, the different depths that they have to go in the ground as far as how far apart they go, making sure they're straight. Because if you don't get it just perfect, then you're going to have, you know, your water runoff won't happen well. Um, the greenhouses don't line up. So definitely we know what we're good at and that's growing plants. And we know what these guys are good at and that's building greenhouses. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they are doing. give these guys a lot of credit. It's very cold out today and their fingers have got to be just numb. So this is a truss that is being installed right now. This part of the greenhouse has a wider span from pole to pole, and so that is why we need to have trusses. This is going to actually be um, our shipping area, so we didn't want to have random poles kind of landing in the middle of the shipping area. So that is why that area looks slightly different than the other area as we zoom over this way. Uh, these poles here are approximately 12 foot apart, so the spacing is much closer than what it is. Uh, where the trusses are landing right now. These guys here on the sky jack, they are putting the gutters up. So they've got probably five or six of them. They're sitting up on their rail and they'll just move up and down and getting them all set on top of the poles. Those gutters are, are for rain drainage or snow drainage. So when they set the poles, remember I was talking about how they had to be very like mathematical and how they were placed and making sure that every pole drops, I don't know, half inch or whatever it is. Uh, that way the snow will all drain and rain will drain all to the south end of the structure because you definitely don't want ponding water or ponding snow because the weight just is too much and could potentially collapse it. So the gutters are for rain drainage. And they're doing a good job getting them all up there. The guys are making progress today. They got just a couple gutters that need to get put up yet. And they're also starting to hang some of the weight bearing trusses. These trusses are running east and west. And the reason these are in the construction of this greenhouse is because they are, they hold the weight. So if we hang the weight of like hanging baskets or anything we hang in the ceiling gets hung from those trusses. So that's the support that holds those in the, in the ceiling. Also, those are nice because we can run our water line, our electric, uh, anything that we need to hang lights from and such, they also get hung from those trusses. And the trusses that we saw earlier here in the video, 
those are trusses more for support because we don't have the poles going down um, every 12 foot so there's a bigger gap so you got to use the truss to basically hold the, the top of the ceiling up so lots of progress being made i can't wait until the hoops start going up because i feel like that's really when you start to see the greenhouse taking its true form if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below thanks for watching i'm heidi from garden crossings